You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is up? And welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I'm your host, Denny Mussolini, and I just, again, want to welcome all you guys to the show. Man, it is uh, almost Christmas. Can you believe it? And not only that, guys, but it's almost 2020. Clear vision for next year. I hope you guys are planning out your year, and uh, hopefully you make the best of what you got left of this year. Um, as for me, I'm still back in 2018. Uh, I'm still having uh, accomplished the things that I set out to do in 2018. So I'm still back there, still trying to cover the ground, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm super excited about what's in store for uh, the new year. Hope you guys are as well. All right, so where you are um, is not nearly as important as the direction that you're moving. No matter how far down you are, you can quickly turn around and head back up. You cannot instantly get to the top, but you can instantly be on your way. Which way are you headed right now? Are you moving steadily toward an important goal? What would you do today to keep yourself moving that way? Are the things you're doing moving you towards where you want to be? If not, why in the world are you doing them? Do you really believe you can get somewhere by walking further and further away from it every day? There's something you can do today to keep yourself or to get yourself moving towards exactly where you want to be. Do it. Every day you spend drifting away from your goals is a waste, not only of that day, but also of the additional day it takes you to regain lost ground. Oh my. Know where you want to go. Get on track and stay on track. Keep yourself always moving forward. Take that from me, Danny Mussolini. That is my word. And word is bond. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo. Hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book, Inside the Business, where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos, crystalline or star seeds, or for my vigilantes audience family. And two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners and we've been at this for four solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey and we're still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, movies, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists to nominees to actors comedians ceos technology geniuses visual artists from authors to professors and aliens or people think they're aliens it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and talk to me so check it out to book your interview or just to share a real cool story email me at v radio at only one media group.com and that's v as in victor i'm passionate about what i do just as passionate about what you do and together 
Yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. You know the number to dial. 701-801-9813. Text that number to your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from our website, onlyonemediagroup.com. Right from the homepage, you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of of us feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and we take up the entire hour and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired
All right, and we are back again. That was Reem with his song, Move. And if you didn't know by now, that is who our special guest is for tonight. Oh, man, just dropped my phone. Oh, well. So, you know, we are the people who have dedicated their mornings, weekdays, and nights to music, uh, books, films, news, business ventures, and just talk in general. And I'm going to be so bummed out if I just cracked my screen. I just bought that phone. (laughs) <laughs> for my incredible writing and promotion here on our new Facebook page and you can find that on Vigilantes Radio uh, via Facebook of course to our interviews and music shows on this podcast which is what you're listening to now um, to our spiritual and comedic intelligent conversational talk and uh, controversial talk uh, also on a show that we have called Skeptics of the Handshake we spend each and every day giving our maximum effort to create a vibrant indie and professional community for all creative minds that coexist in this beautiful artistic world as i mentioned uh, about uh, 8.5 seconds ago our special guest tonight is the phenomenon known as reem so let's go ahead and kick this thing off hey reem you're now live in the midst with all of us how is it going Yo, 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 what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? Yo, man, like, you're a, a double OG, man, because this is your second time on Vigilantes Radio, so we deem you double OG, Reem, the Supreme, in the house. What's yeah. up, man? It's an honor. It's an honor, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Take that badge and run with it, man. Um, no, most definitely, most man. definitely. Yes, sir. So, man, um... The track that we are playing tonight, man, it seems as if like the hornets in this has been stirred and you began the groundwork to really hit the ground running, you know, with your social media spread, PR campaign. So tell us about what has been happening in your personal life since we last spoke. Um, um, not too much more music, you know. Just staying yeah. in the studio, grinding, um, trying to get some shows out here, you know. Um, all in all, I was just trying to keep that, trying to keep that energy going, you know. Most concentrate and focus, making that go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you said, like keep the energy going. Do you find that to be like a, a constant struggle? I mean, it, it is for me, man, to keep like a momentum flowing, um, especially when you're on to something or when you feel like um, the time is now to strike while the iron is hot, per se. Um, but sometimes, man, I just wake up and feel like it's just extremely difficult to keep that momentum going or that energy flowing in the right direction. How about you, man? Tell us, tell us all what's what's been cooking up. And in your mind over there, and and how you maintain that energy flow when you're promoting a new record. Um, we have a lot of uh, beginners who listen to the show, and they need those kind of pointers. Yeah, I mean, um, for me, it's um, uh, it's really just at the end of the day, reflecting on how far you got. You feel me? Um, mm-hmm. Depending on the situation, and looking back on where you would have been if you didn't choose. To progress, you know, or if you didn't choose to take the next step, what would you be at now? You know, um, a lot of people wouldn't be satisfied with that. But okay. It would also yeah. drive a lot of people. Yeah. I'm just one of those people that it drives, you know. Right on. So. What's your own personal message that you're trying to get across to the masses nowadays? Do what you can do, and do what you do, and help help others along the way. Yeah, a good hand is a helping hand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all bets are off I'm guessing is there any more ammo left in the chamber as far as like things to say when it comes down to the frustration of being doubted or overlooked um, in this industry oh man personal experience kind of happening now I mean I mean, mm. 
kind of at it. My personal opinion, I've been kind of at it for some time. But I feel like I could be, you know what I'm saying, up there a little bit more. It may be my fault. But then again, it may be, you know, the world is not, you know, spinning in my favor. But, you mm-hmm. know, I don't take offense to it. You know, I don't, I don't trip over it. So what's the remedy for that, though? Um, if it is your fault, what would be the remedy to, you know, combat that? Probably just relaxing, putting the ease off, meditation, probably um, video games, sometimes busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. No, it's there. Okay. Little stuff like that. Yeah. Basketball, sports, go work out or something, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Most definitely. So, what about some advantages that played in your favor for being so bold with Boom? Well, um, Boom was really a uh, an aggressive, an aggressive life statement per se. It was really like, you know, saying the industry know, like I'm not here to play games, you know. I'm here to. You know, I'm here to stay. So I'm coming. Coming for Nick. And whoever in my way, don't get these bars from me. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you be so kind, man, like, tell us about what kind of obstacles are facing, that you're facing as an indie artist. Um, just probably just not getting the notoriety. Like, or like, you know what I'm saying? The hard work put into it, you know, see results. But I don't take it as it not doing the job, you know what I'm saying? Doing your job right, I take it as progression because, you know, at the end of the day, somebody, somebody can, you know what I mean? And you getting, to me, to me is getting that relief, you know, that stress off, knowing that, you know, I'm able to release some stress off of, you know, off of some, some stuff I might have been dealing with in the past or some, you know, situation, you know. All right. All right. So, uh, what's your plan of attack to overcome these pushbacks? Basically, just take my mind off it. Try to get it off your mind. Focus on something else. Focus on mm. a hobby, something you enjoy. Something yeah. that relaxes you, easy. You know, find that, find that escape where you feel like you can be yourself. And you can relax in it. You know. Yeah. What is something you enjoy outside of music? Um, skateboarding, um, video games, um, I like, uh, like food, (laughs) um, what else, like entertainment, (laughs) entertainment is good, yeah, yeah, all right. Is the ream that we may uh, run into in, at the grocery store, or the bank, the same ream that takes the stage? Um, you know what I mean? Like, how much of the real you ends up in these songs as opposed to, say, like a stage persona or a character that you've created? Not saying that a character can be fake, but um, per se, like, uh, you know, you take on an identity of the energy, uh, the, energy um, the energy you put out is the energy you gonna get. I don't mm-hmm. wear a coat or you, I don't put on a persona or a character when it comes to meeting certain people or you know having a certain attitude at a certain at a certain period in time. Nah, yeah, it's all natural. You feel me? 
Oh, I left behind the camera. Glad to hear that. That's what's up. So let's chat about this single that you have out. Come on, man. Uh, Spares no details about how uh, Boom came to be. Yeah, boom. Um, so I was really trying to figure out a way where I can. I was trying to figure out a way where I can really make people like really make that make that face, make that stink face when they listen to it. You know what I mean? Had that mm-hmm. had that funk face, you know. And my and I wrote down the bars and I was thinking like, this needs to be. It needs to be a song that that people really need to be scared of when they hear it. Like the lyrics need to be so off the chain, and the flow and the fluidity needs to be so on point. It needs to make people shiver. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I had to go in the studio and do that, and I came out with boom. And I had to let in street know that I'm here to stay. You know? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right. So a lot of people uh, continually recognize hip hop and uh, old school as being one and the same. That being said, um, if it's looked at as anything old school, it may leave people wondering who has come along the way to innovate and change the game throughout the years. Or if anyone has since the original masters of the mic. Um, but who do you believe was instrumental in helping innovate the genre of hip hop and rap to help pave the way for what you create and use it today? Um, I feel like it's really important. I feel like mm-hmm. it's, it's set the stage for a lot of what we know now. And I feel like that's I feel like that's the core of of, of hip hop and music in general, just based on feeling and soul, you know what I'm saying? Having having a groove, you know what I'm saying? Taking taking your mind off something, you know. I always felt like it was more like soul rather than just you know, what I'm saying business or you know, like just doing it just to do it. No, it's like a deeper meaning. You know what I'm saying? You gotta connect with it. Um, I never took it for granted. That's what. All the people that set the foundation, they used to talk about, you know what I mean, real life stuff. So that's what I try to do. That's right. That's right. Um, Could you name some names? Um, Snoop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kendrick. Um, Travis, of course. Um, He's on the H. Um... Jay-Z, of course, oh, um, Biggie, um, yeah, okay. the list can go on, but, you know, right. it's not Christmas yet, so, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. And, and once again, like taking it all further, who do you personally find? Like, how how do you personally find new creative ways to get innovative with your music? Um, normally, I just just take a deep breath. Just think about. Mm-hmm. I just think about life, how far I've come, the means I've had, you know, all the enjoyments, and then I take all that. And then I create, I create a tune, you know, make a little box, and mm-hmm. then from there, you know, from there I just, I just create, you know, just reflect. Right. For me, it's observing the world, you know, the environment around you, just being aware, you know, being observant. And of course, enjoying the world for what it is. Right. Man, uh, Reem, you know uh, Nick Cannon and Eminem are, I guess, in a squabble again. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Sure. That's crazy. <laughs> but what is your all-time favorite disc record of, of all time that you've ever heard? No Vaseline, Ice Cube. Ah, uh, off yeah. 
<laughs> have you ever been involved in a, a back and forth between another artist or person? Every disc that I've thrown has never been counted. Mm. So, as far as I'm concerned, I've never taken an L. Wow, never taking an L. Wow. Nah. Okay. Not anybody trying to diss me or anybody, you know, that tried me. Yeah. That's all the wow. all the bars that I sent back has not been has not been broken through yet, so mm. hmm. Okay. Is there a song out there now that has helped um, inspire the creation of Boom? Yeah, um, Playhouse, which is off the Dreamland mixtape on SoundCloud, my SoundCloud. Hmm. Um, and also, um, I another song that I got in the vault, I'm still working on, gave me the idea behind it. But, you know, stay tuned for what we got in store. Most definitely. All right, man. I was asked to actually ask you this question. Um, They tuned in to the interview last time, and uh, they heard you was going to be on this time again. Uh, But they want to know, who is the wackest rapper in the game right now, in your opinion? The wackest rapper? The wackest rapper? Hmm. That's a hard one. <laughs> that's that's a real hard one. The wackest. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many. Yeah. There are. It's, 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 I, yeah, it's too many. I can't, I can't, I can't fathom the thought of that many. I, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot out there. There My, is. I can't, I can't pick out anybody in particular because then, you know, it'll be, it'll be like, well, what is it you don't like about him, and then I'll be like. Yeah, well, I don't. Is there anything you do like about it? Mm. Nah, 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 nah. Right. Like I don't want to discriminate, you know. <laughs> I'm for everybody. Good music, good music. Most uh, good answer, good answer. All right, guys, are y'all ready for some music? Because I am after the music break. Our usual tradition is called the hot seat, and our fans love this part of the segment. Of course, along with the actual interview. But the audience get a chance to hear uh, Reem provide us with some vocals. Maybe he'll sing for us, maybe do poetry, spoken word, freestyle raps, jokes, stories, live instruments. You never know what these creative minds and vessels were producing in the spotlight. And tonight we'll find out if Reem has what it takes to be put on the spot, a test of his true artistry. But for right now, we have Reem with this song, Boom. We'll be right back. <laughs> Uh. Uh. I know about it, man. They thought I could run it up. They thought I was serious. Yeah. Yeah. I. I'm the type to call the comatose Savage boy, might slit your throat I'm not here to fucking joke I came to conquer shit and have a toast If you speak to me peacefully You won't turn into a mystery And if you think you can compete with me You must be smoking stupid tree Never once had a homie that worked for free And was sliced through blocks like a surgery We sneaked the perk and that green Shh, but you ain't heard from me Shut up, snitch, the game is switch From now on, ring running this Anybody have a problem with subtracting From a side to whip, you better watch your six <laughs> You better watch your six, you better watch your six. Huh? You better watch your six, you better watch your six. You better watch your six, you better watch your six. Hey, screw a dog, you know what time it is. 
time it is. Get in the whip and let's spin again. If I see his friends, I'ma spray again. Don't give a damn if any can. I got a 45 and an angry Tim. Whatever we need, we gon' handle him. Pull up to the site and dismantle them. To pocket lift on them, we a butter rim. Butter rim, butter rim, uh, butter rim. Uh, we bustin' trigger. You better watch six. Uh, like that uh, uh, like that wait. Uh, uh. Master blaster coming in with spells. Coming out of hell. Demon master with the demon blaster. You better watch your well. Come through with that bank roll. Coming through with them pesos. Stack it up. Hold it up. All right, all right. You just got finished listening to Rain with this song, Boom. You can change your attitude without any muscular effort. You don't need any money, time, fuel, space, or other resource. You don't need anyone else's permission. You don't need a detailed plan of action for changing your attitude. It's not complicated. You don't even need a lot of experience. You can instantly change your attitude. When you do, you'll discover that there is a significant amount of leverage in that attitude. A small change in your attitude can make a big change in your world. In much the same way that a small change in the direction of a ship's rudder can make a big change in a ship's final destination. How? So how is your attitude today? Um, is it anything less than entirely positive? What possible reasons could you have for maintaining a negative attitude? It makes no sense to be negative when there's, a, when there's no cost or effort involved in maintaining a positive attitude. Develop an attitude that lets your setbacks move you forward, an attitude that turns your weaknesses into strengths and your mistakes into wisdom. You're already moving full speed ahead. Make sure your attitude guides you to the desired destination. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bump for right now. Let's bring back the man of the moment, Reem. You're back live with us and on our hot seat. Um, what are you going to perform for us? Mm-hmm. I'll give you a phrase. All right. Um, my mom once told me. My mom once told me, son, you know, do what you do. But if you mind yours, they gon' mind mine. And I didn't know what that meant. Mm-hmm. I was like, what you mean? But then, like, mind mine, like, he just told me to mind my business. What you mean? Like, <laughs> she's like, no. She's like, no. You get older, you're going to know. But the real people know what I'm talking about, you know? Mm. People, people, people with the, people with the, People with the thoughts gonna gonna read, you know. But yeah, I'm starting to learn. Like you know, it's everybody not gonna be able to mind their business. It's just not, just not possible. It's not, it's not the kind of world we live in. It's not realistic. What you can do, you, you know, is just mind yours. You know? Right. Totally agree, brother. All right, my man. Uh, let everyone know where they can connect with you online. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Um, you can catch me on uh, Twitter and IG at uh, Ring underscore Music. That's R E N E underscore M E Z I C. So yeah, Z. Uh, again, that's Twitter and Instagram. R U N E underscore M U Z I C. All right, cool deal. All right, man. Well, I definitely appreciate you and your time and your music, man. Of course, you're always welcome back. Um, be blessed, man, and I hope the rest of your year is prosperous and as well as next year, man. For sure, yours too, man. Yours too. Thank you so much. Thank you my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. 
all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube any app that's on a google play or itunes store or our website and that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired if you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play email it to the radio at only one media group.com if it's music please label it by artist and title here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> nah just kidding on behalf of myself Danny Mussolini I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with us on Facebook Twitter Instagram Tumblr as well as Spricker we always follow back that is the number one rule Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.